Hey y'all, Jason McCoy here with my custom Glock 19X. So a lot of people have asked me a lot of questions about this pistol and I thought I'd take this opportunity to show it off a little bit and tell you about some of the upgrades that I did. This gun actually started out as a stock 19X, like this one here. It's Glock's first crossover pistol, essentially incorporating a Glock 19 slide and a barrel with a Glock 17 frame, giving it a larger grip and a bigger magazine capacity. So the original 19X has a lot of nice features already, like the Glock Marksman barrel, an improved coating on the slide to help prevent corrosion, ambi slide stops, and a military-style lanyard loop. My gun, however, is taking on an attitude of its own with a lot of custom upgrades. So at first glance, the most obvious difference here is actually appearance, but those appearances have a lot of functionality as well. So I sent this off to a company in Alabama called Rocket City Stiplin, and I basically gave him creative freedom because it's kind of like getting back at Picasso after he's done. Um, so what I got back really blew me away. He sent back this multicam black custom Cerakote job with Stipple, actually included um, my favorite Bible verse in there, be strong, be courageous, do not be terrified or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you always, um, my Joshua 1.9, and that was a really nice touch. While the frame was actually in Alabama, I sent the slide to a company in Idaho. Now, the reason I chose this is because I've got three other slides that have been done by this company, j &L Machine Works, and I'm not only, you know, blown away by what the slide looks like when I get it back, but the performance as well. And I actually chose to go with the judge option there. As you can see, it's got the side and the top slide cuts in it as well as the front cocking serrations. I kept all the internals actually stock with the um, Glock Marksman barrel as well as the slide internals. The only thing I swapped up was the trigger. So I had a friend of mine, um, he is considered the Glock Whisperer called Johnny Glocks down a little bit south of us here in Florida install this for me and I am nothing but impressed. I've got two other Glocks with his trigger in it and it is beautiful. It's crisp, clean, short reset. I absolutely love it. So check out the Johnny Glocks combat trigger if you ever get a chance. While this thing was in Idaho, the most important reason I was sending it up there is to get a slide cut for my RMR. Now I do use a couple of different types of red dots. Um, I decided to go with the 3.25 MOA Trigicon RMR on this one. Um, had success with it in the past. I really think it tops this gun off nicely. And as you all know, if you go with an RMR or any kind of red dot optic, you need some suppressor height sights or something to actually co-witness through that RMR. So I chose the Ameriglow, completely blacked out suppressor height sights for that. To top it all off, I put a Surefire X300 UA on it and called it a day, guys. So there you have it guys, my custom Glock 19X. Thanks for letting me show it off and make sure you hit all of those important buttons to help that 2A algorithm. God bless and stay safe.